Real talk. So, I have been doing good for two whole weeks. And I have been able to, we're probably throwing that at this point, what is today? The 23rd started on like the third, 20 days, so like two and a half weeks. Damned if my period did not come and derail all of my wonderfulness. Now it started on Friday and I decided um, that I was going to try and push through and not let it affect me and I was going to be fine. And I pushed through all day Friday and then Saturday morning I woke up and I made a mistake. I weigh in on Mondays. I decided, well, let's just see if this last week I was so good. I exercised all this, all this. It was awesome. Let's go see how I did. Well, just, I knew it, maybe it would get a little better by Monday, but still, you know, see how I did good. I was like up 0.7 pounds. Now I know, I know, I know, but dis combobulated lack of communication between all of my logical parts and my feeling parts. Um, I know that when you're on your period, you bloat, water, weight, you hold liquid, it changes your weight. You shouldn't trust your, your way in. Also, you're not supposed to weigh in before you're supposed to, before like your designated weigh in day. But I got down and then like I spiraled and I got depressed <laughs> and I just was like, I just want to eat whatever I want to eat. I'm so hungry. I wasn't even, it's not like I've been hungry. I've been eating perfectly contently. Like I'm not hungry. I eat when I'm hungry. I'm eating food that I like. It's not like I've been depriving myself. The only thing I've deprived myself of is fried foods and pastries. So... Well, Friday night we went and had sushi, which I didn't think was that bad. I thought that was a good decision. Um, I know it's higher carb and I'm trying to eliminate some of the carbs, but when it could have been a cheeseburger, two rolls of sushi didn't seem so bad. Uh, then Saturday, we didn't eat until we got to the movie theater at noon. We have a movie theater here that's called Cine Bistro, and it has like a restaurant style food. And I was like, well... I'm gonna just split the difference. I want the chicken tenders, but I won't have the french fries. So I got the chicken tenders with a Caesar salad. <laughs> In my mind, this justified it. So I had the chicken tenders with the Caesar salad. Excuse me, it's late here. Um, chicken tenders with the Caesar salad. And of course I had to have ranch dressing because how do you have chicken tenders without ranch dressing? Like that was a good decision. So that was around noon to one-ish that I was eating that. Then we did not eat again until like nine o'clock. So I had had one meal and of course at that point I am starving, I am hangry, I am just grumpy and I'm like all I want in my life is a cinnamon roll and so of course where did we go? Our cheap asses. We went to CeCe's Pizza. It wasn't even the pizza. Like, I, yeah, I had a couple slices of the little pizza, but I, like, went on a bender. I went on a cinnamon roll bender. I don't know if you've ever been, had their cinnamon rolls. I mean, they're not even the best thing in the world, but I went on a cinnamon roll bender. And I had, I, see, this is where I'm going to be co confessional time. I think I ate, like, eight. They're 140 calories each. I'm going to let you do that math. I added up what I had. Oh, at the movie theater, I had some popcorn too. Not a whole bunch, but I still had some popcorn with the butter on it, so I know that's not good. Um, so I added up everything from Saturday. I swear to God, I ate 3,000 calories. <laughs> I'm so sad. I was like, what have I done? I've completely sabotaged myself. And then I woke up this morning and we went to... Excuse me, we went to brunch because we've been planning to go to brunch. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have steak and eggs. That's good. Steak and eggs came with hash browns and toast. They were delicious. They were carbs I did not need, but they came with them. So the steak and I didn't need three whole eggs anyway. I just wanted, I should have just had some egg whites. Hi, kitty. Um, but I ate that. Except for I ended up only eating like half the steak and giving it the other half to my boyfriend because he was still hungry and I was just so full from all the potato. Um... I, yeah, so I had that, and then we didn't eat again until this evening, so we did the same thing, we only ate two meals each day, and we ate them so far apart that by the time we sat down to actually eat again, we were so hungry that we made bad decisions, um, 
and my motivation, horm like hormonally, it's just kind of like your period messes you up, puts you on a roller coaster. Some people it's worse, some people it's better. Mine just makes me like give in to all of my emotional eating problems. If this cat does not try to stop trying to get in this box, I'm gonna turn him into shoes. Sherlock, get down. So, I, uh, tonight for dinner, I was like, I want a McChicken sandwich and a burrito from Taco Bell. Again, horrible decisions, crappy processed food. Do I feel horrible right now? Yes. Is my stomach kind of churny and kind of gross feeling and I, I don't even feel full even though I ate that? Yeah. So I'm telling you, like, quality real food versus crap food, big difference. And especially, like, your how you feel digestively. Uh, my <laughs> my takeaway from this experience is that, uh, well, one, tomorrow I'm jumping right back on the wagon. Uh, I could, this is normally the point where I would spiral in any of my previous attempts dieting. I would have a day or two where I would just make bad food decisions and then I would say, well... You can't be trusted to do this right at all, so you might as well just, just give up and eat crap food and be 7 million pounds. Blech. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to get right back on it tomorrow. I'll have my protein shake for breakfast or maybe some eggs if I have time. Uh, eggs. I still have some turkey sausage left. I still need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. But uh, I, think I'll, I think I'll take tuna for lunch. I like, I chopped up some tuna in my lunch, or tuna, I chopped, gosh, I'm tired, chopped up some tomato in the tuna for lunch last week one day when I took tuna, and it was really, really good. I've never tried tomato in tuna salad, and it was good, so I'll probably do that, but I'm going to try, uh, the next time this issue comes up, I'm gonna try, I don't know, meditation, channeling it into exercise, Drinking lots of water until I don't want it anymore. I'm not sure what I'm... I'm just going to try and look up some things to do to kind of cope with period emotional crap and how that affects your eating habits and your diet and your choices. Um, I am still going to weigh in tomorrow morning. I'm still going to post a video. I'm very scared. I'm fully prepared for it to say like, like 394 which would be up like five pounds from last week because of the craziness of this weekend. I'm just convinced. I will be mildly Im just impressed if I'm lower than that. And then if I actually didn't gain any weight, like if I net out at around the same amount, I will be shocked. I mean, I did a buttload of exercise this week compared to previous weeks. And I did... Um, we walked, we, we walked and walked and walked for a couple hours doing some shopping um, this weekend. That's why we were so busy and didn't have time to eat like we should have. But I'm just so, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself and in my decisions. And I would like to do better next time. So I'm going to look into that. If anyone has any advice on how to not give in to the, like, the emotional driven bad food decisions, that would be great. I, other than that, I think I'm basically ready to get right back on. I'm not feeling down. I'm not feeling that emotional need to eat crappy foods anymore. So I think that like swing has passed. So I will get back on the bandwagon and see what next week holds. I think I'm going to try and videotape now that I've got my office area cleaned up a little bit. I will try and videotape my exercise routine. Because y'all gotta see that, how I modify burpees for my big ol' self. So I think that would be funny for everyone to see. And also just maybe informational for those of you who can't do a lot of these exercises. Like, I have to modify pretty much everything because if I try to do them the regular way, I will end up in pain or something broken or <laughs> stuck in a position I can't get out of. So, thank you guys for putting up with me for ten minutes. I just wanted to talk about that and I look forward to... Okay, let's be real. I don't look forward to my way in tomorrow, but I will do it tomorrow, and I will see you then. Bye.